Welcome to my channel, David Tech. Today we are going to learn how to create these awesome titles in a very simple and easy way. We are going to need to use a plugin, but it's a free one. So you won't need to pay anything. Very, very simple to use. In just a few minutes, you will have amazing animation for your titles. So without further ado, let's do it. Well, this is the company that provided uh, with this plugin that I was telling you about, which is free. They also have many, many other effects products if you want to take a look. But this is not a, sp a sponsored tutorial. They don't know even who I am. So if you want to take a look, it's okay to me, but they are not paying for this and they are not sponsoring the video. I will put the links in the description below for both Mac and Windows. So you only need to click on that link, download the file, install it, and, and that's it. You will have the plugin in your After Effects. So first of all, we are going to create a new composition. Let's call it logo uh, for case, okay? And the background color doesn't matter really. Perfect. So now we have our composition and we need to create a, sol a new solid. Also, the color doesn't matter, so just click OK. And now you have to go to the Effects panel and look for Saber, which is the plugin that we just installed. Drag and drop to the solid, and we have this cool line already here. So next step will be to create a text layer. So let's click here. And now you can align the test. You can even change the font wherever you want. and. Once you are happy with that, you need to go to Layer and go to Auto Trace. Let's hit OK. And now you can delete the layer test. Now you go here to the mask and you see that we get 14 different masks, which is uh, all the trace for all the letters. So we select all the masks, Command C, Control C, depends if you are on Windows or Mac. Go to the solid layer and command B, control B. And now you can uncheck this and you have the trace in your solid. So now you need to go to the effect control panels and you will have all the settings for the Saber plugin. You need to do two things first. Just go to render settings, change the composite settings to transparent. And the second step is going to a customize core, go to core type and select layer mask. So you see, you can see already the effect. And now you only need to go here and choose the effect that you like the better. So you can try different ones. Let me just change the resolution so you will see more fluid. You have uh, really a lot of them. So you can just play around and have fun. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will choose neon, which is a very cool one. But you see, it's like a static. What you can do is change the, the parameters until you are happy how the neon looks like. You can change the intensity, the color. You can even change the bias, the core size, whatever you want. A little bit more glowing. And as you can see, looks cool, but doesn't really look like a neon because we don't have this flickering. So you can do that are here in Flickr, you can, you will see you have zero now. If you put some flickering intensity here, you will, can see that now really looks like a neon. Also, you have a ton of settings. Uh, you can play around and uh, you can spend hours creating your own and unique uh, titles. So yes, I leave you for the <laughs> imagination. And it's that simple. There is no, nothing else. Uh, how you export this so you can use it wherever you want. You can just uncheck the this icon here, go to File, Export, add to the Render Queue. Now you need to click here and choose RGB plus Alpha. So it will be transparent and you can use this title over any other footage. Choose the, choose the name and the location and just click render. Now I delete the layer, this layer. We are going to try to achieve the same effect with a logo. We have this Instagram logo, for instance, here. I drag and drop to the 
sequence. And now what we need to do is what we, exactly the same steps that we did with the, with the text. Go to Layer, Auto Trace, hit OK. You can delete the logo. Go to the mask, select all the mask, Control C, Command D, and Control C, com Command V into the solid. So you can disable this and you already have your logo with this cool effect. Also, what you can do, you can click on the solid and you can create a shape. Let's say a circle. Let's move it a little bit and you have this shape over your logo. And even more, if you want, we can animate this. So let's go to two seconds. And now, first of all, we change the color. And now we, what you can do is go to end offset, click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe to 100%. Then go back to the beginning of the clip, put zero and we'll create another keyframe. So now you will have an animation of your logo. Let's play this. And as simple as that, you have created your own custom logo or title. I hope you like it. This is not difficult at all and you can get amazing results. If you have any comment, you like the video, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any suggestion, you want to learn how to do some stuff, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to create those tutorials for you. Also, if this tutorial was helpful for you, just subscribe, hit the like and enable the ring so you will be notified next time that I'm uploading a video. Thank you very much, guys, again. See you next time. Now to turn around and back again I made my bed